Transferring Brokenness by Indira Reti. The first plate, shattering on the tile floor, sounded like an explosion. The larger pieces clanged sharply for a few seconds against the floor before quieting down. Still too big. She picked up the larger pieces, raised them above her head and let them slip from her fingers. A softer thud, a quicker jangle and a lot more shards. Yes, this would do. She selected another plate, threw it up in the air. It asked beautifully before shattering, sending pieces flying everywhere. She waited for all the pieces to fall, for silence to reassert its claim. Too half assert, too slow. The next plate went soaring up to punch the ceiling and shower her with shards. Instinctively, she closed her eyes and failed to see their last dance. This too, I didn't see. She placed the fourth plate on the floor, holding it down with her foot. She ratted it up the pressure, bit by bit. She could feel the plate straining under her weight. Suddenly, it gave way with a large crack. An almost perfect parable. The last two plates she held in her hands and thwacked them together. The vibrato of their breaking raced pleasantly up to her face. This is absolution. She surveyed the field of broken plates and saw herself in every shard. The constant undermining of her self-esteem as she failed to live up to his expectations of his perfect partner. The moments of tenderness that infused hope for a change, a relinking of hearts and souls, a new path. Tenuous moments that stayed in their own microcosm, refusing to move forward. The knife skewering her heart from different angles, labelled with a wide variety of faces, yet with none resembling her in the slightest. The timed unravelling of her connections, as his lies, his actions isolated her from those who chose his silver tongue over her earthen pleas. The irrevocable sundering of a promised forever. She surveyed the massacre of the last thing still left undivided after the ravening wolves had had their fill. This is all that is left of me. Her eyes traversed the broken landscape. A spurt of indignation pushed itself through. Was she really this weak, this beyond repair? No, no. Her marriage might have ended, but she had not. She reframed her last thought. This is all that is left of us. It was time to move on.